All right, the sign this week says God has an 800 number prayer. Well, I don't know why that happened, but my my bicycle fell over again. Uh, maybe it ain't wanting me to make no jokes about 1-800 numbers. Praying will give you a calm place. Hmm. For a dyslexic person, that is a tricky sentence. Prayer will give you a calm plex. Well, I guess it will give you. I know meditating is praying. I know they don't want to talk about how you can meditate and have a way to steal your mind in, in any situation and be totally calm. And you can actually speak life to yourself, your atoms, your DNA while you're doing it. Um, as far as praying to God, uh, I guess everybody in a foxhole prays, you know. But some people just come to the realization that Father God knows everything about everything. I think there's even scripture says that he knows what you ask for before you ask. That's a tricky one. And he knows every hair on your head. I remember being a little kid and they was, I don't know, I think they say in the population back then was four billion people. And I was thinking to myself as a little bitty old boy, you got a picture of me being a little bitty boy. Little bitty, little bitty boy. And I was thinking, how does God know every hair on my head and every hair on everybody else's hair, head? How? I mean, he, he's something else that God is. I guess he answers prayers. I can say a prayer right now. God help us with these crazy ass politicians. Man, they are some people behind the politicians that want to take us into Armageddon. They want to blow the world up. Crazy. People say it's a conspiracy theory, buddy. No, it's conspiracy facts. There has been a hidden hand, and it talked about it in the Bible. A hidden hand controlling things from behind the scenes. Sad to say, you can have a billion people praying that they be exposed. And then you got another billion people that don't even know they have a nose. And you got another billion people that are so hungry they can't pray. Then you got another billion people that are so sick they can't pray. And then you got another billion people that are just babies and they can't pray. They ain't understood English yet or whatever language they're trying to speak. Speak. I love to listen to a little bit of kid talk. It's, you know that jibber, jibber jabber talk. Yeah. It's been a while since my children have been babies. I think I got... Uh, yeah. I got some video of them talking when they was real little. One day when I get old, I'm going to go through all my archive of old footage and uh, make some footage of them babies jibber jabbing. I got one picture of them, video of them, uh, fighting on the couch. And they was, you know, two and three. And, and the big one pushed the little one off on the, on the floor. And the little one jumped up and grabbed her by her feet and pulled her down on the floor. And they been beginning to wrestle. And they was laughing and wrestling at the same time. Yeah, I was watching professional wrestling way back then. And they would they'd try to emulate it. You know kids are something else. Boy, if kids were told the truth about who we are, what we are, and why we're here, they could change the world in this next couple of generations. So I pray 
that full disclosure about the dark side of this system comes out and people call it whatever they want. Illuminati, deep state, dark state, evil agenda, the cabal, call them Luciferians, call them just insane, crazy, psychopath killers. Call them whatever you want, but you got to not judge them. You actually got to love them. Realize that they're just playing a role just like we're playing a role in a world that ain't no more real than a dream. I, play, I pray for full disclosure, unveiling the calamity that we know to be reality. I want this thing to fold up and, and then open up like a... I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> I want people to be happy. I want people to love each other. I want people to quit fighting. I want governments and city governments and county governments to quit messing with people, putting 5G up and not telling nobody. They don't even know how harmful it is. Next thing, it'll be 8G, then 10G. Then there won't be no people left. Hell, we ain't got no honeybees no more. Have you noticed the honeybees are gone? All I see is butterfly. I love a butterfly, now don't get me wrong. But I'm missing honeybees. I'm missing them. I'm missing them. I know they, they was... I, in this reality right now, there ain't no honeybees like they once was. I can't see the sun today, but I'm going to tell you something. When the disclosure comes out, we're going to find out that the sun has changed. It's changed in a way that will rock people down to their core. The sun is not yellow no more. It is white. White. And it's got even a different energy. I'll tell you this and then I'm going to shut up. You can look it up. Scientifically, there's more photons coming from another source than the sun. Now this happened a few years back and they reported on it in the mainstream idiot news. And it's scientific journals and papers were written on it. And it's fact. It ain't a conspiracy theory. There's more photons coming from another source than the sun. Some people say it's the center sun of the Milky Way galaxy. From the center of the Milky Way galaxy, that there's energy coming. And that energy, when those photons, the leading edge, has already started warming up every planet in the solar system. People think it's global warming. Well, get the damn buses and cars off of Mars because it's warming up too. It ain't people that's making everything warm up. It's the Earth energetically warming up from within, giving birth to a new reality. This is a dimensional thing, people. It's a shift, a shift of consciousness. It happens when you change. And the last judgment's when you stop judging yourself and anything and anyone. And you see the reality of this matrix of an illusionary holographic world that doesn't make any sense, never has, never will, and never could. All you can do is make sense in your own thinking. You can realize you're the thinker. You can realize you're the creator of your reality and you have the right and alienable right to be happy, live in peace, and hear and know the truth and it will set you free. How? Oh, I'm preaching now. <laughs> All right, that's enough of my rant for the, you know, the church sign. Okay.